In today's era of next-generation computing, data centers and cloud services are extremely valuable. The estimated value of the combined data center and cloud services market is over 92 billion US dollars and rising. Cloud services can be grouped into three categories, infrastructure as a service, software as a service, and platform as a service. Under the infrastructure as a service model, the service provider owns, houses, and maintains the computing and data storage hardware necessary to support business operations. The client then pays the service provider on a per-use basis. Key examples include Rackspace and Amazon Web Services. Under the software as a service model, the service provider hosts an application in the cloud and makes it available to customers over a public or private network. This is the largest cloud segment, with players like Descara, Microsoft 365, Conversant Solutions, and Eclipus, a subsidiary of DeClout. Finally, under the platform as a service model, the platform vendor provides templates to developers who then build software applications to be delivered over the cloud. This is the smallest cloud segment, but is growing the fastest, with predicted growth in APAC of 54% by 2019. Examples include Google App Engine and Microsoft Azure. When valuing these companies, it's important to consider their stage of growth. For early stage and growth stage data center and infrastructure as a service companies, the focus is on building capacity and acquiring customers before achieving profitability, making capacity and revenue growth the key valuation metrics. In the later stages, as these companies achieve significant scale and customer traction, revenue growth EBITDA margin and profit margins become relevant valuation metrics. Evaluating software as a service companies is a little different. Upfront investment is lower, which means they usually reach profitability faster. In the early stage, the focus is usually on building capacity and customers. Key metrics include the number of customers and revenue. In the growth stage, key valuation metrics include revenue and revenue growth, number of customers, and customer growth. And in the late stage, as software as a service companies gain customer traction, revenue, EBITDA margin, and profit margin become relevant valuation metrics. Those are the basics about investing in data centers and cloud services companies. To learn more, visit sgxacademy.com or download the digital research paper at sgx.com digitalsector digital sector. And good luck!